guys, Dexter27 here, back at it again with another video, and today we are going to be going through my pickups slash new pop setup. So, this is going to be what we're going with for now, because I don't really have any other way to organize them, and I'm, I'm feeling good about how this is going. So, for now we'll go with my flash set. This is my um, current flash set. I'm missing three of them, which is the Legion of Collectors Jay Garrick, the metallic running flash and grod, but hopefully we'll sort that out at some point. But yeah, I got unmasked flash, the two Captain Colds, um, these three here, Vibe, Kid Flash and Flash, Cisco, Jay Garrick, bunch of new pickups, Black Flash, I got him for 10 bucks, got the metallic blue lantern flash for 10 bucks as well, and white lantern flash for 10 bucks. So it was all pretty good deals there, and I've actually lost my mind because they have announced uh, Gerard Way Danger Days pop, and I'm so excited that I, I kind of nearly cried when I found out, because if you don't know me, I'm a massive MCR fan, I got three cheers on vinyl, so, you know, it's these little figures as well, so, it yeah, very exciting. I finished my Kingsman set, we have Harry, and if I can get it up there, the little key ring of Eggsy from the Golden Circle, and I finally finished my Once Upon a Time set with the arrival of Gold Rumple. So this is the finished set, except for the $400 Regina, which I can't afford. But hopefully when I'm an adult one day, that will be added to the collection. Uh, what else have we got in here? New Pot Rocks. I got this Elton John and these other two Elton Johns. So I have the full Elton John set here. Um, the Greatest Hits Elton, Red, White and Blue Elton, and then the Glitter Red, uh, White and Blue Elton. And here we have Mick Mars from Motley Crue. I don't really like Motley Crue, but... I got him for seven bucks, so I didn't really care. Add to the Pop Rocks collection, why not? Here we have uh, Weird Al Yankovic, the regular one that isn't the fat version, which now I have both, because I, I love Weird Al, he's hilarious. Plus he makes good music, and he's just an all-round nice fellow. I know I like him, he's one of the nicest souls in the music industry at the moment. Here we have JC Chasey's, which I, I got him because he's five bucks, and I nearly have the full Sync set. Except for Justin Timberlake. I'm not going to pay 20 bucks for it because I don't really like NSYNC that much. I just got them because Pop Rocks were cheap. And then here's the Johnny Cash that I got. $10 to finish off my Johnny Cash set because Johnny Cash is awesome. How can you not love Johnny Cash? And down here we have Rivers Cuomo from Weezer. I also love Weezer. I actually saw Weezer in concert along with Through Fighters, which was pretty great. And here we have the 10-inch Notorious B.I.G. Pop Culture exclusive or Funko Shop exclusive if you're in America. But... I really think he's pretty awesome. But yeah, we're going to go down here. I got Russell from Up to complete my set. I got it for $15, which is like really good because it's a $100 pop. So that's pretty epic. I don't know if I touched on that last one or not, but I'm going to put it in here anyway. Here are my other biggies I got. I got Biggie with Crown and then the full convention exclusive of Biggie with the Crown, which was very exciting. Um, just trying to look through what else I have got throughout this um quarantine i've been purchasing a lot of pops which is you know probably not healthy but i did it anyway um what else have we got in here i don't think i got any more blu-rays i'll be getting the sonic movie but that's not really gonna be a video on its own but down here i did pick up onward on dvd the new pixar movie i still haven't watched it but trust me i will i will and this is another pickup this is just random pickups um Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes, a brand new Hunger Games book. As you can see, I'm a good chunk through. Because if anyone knows me, I'm a massive Hunger Games fan. So, that's that. And um, I finally got this. I've had these figures for a while, but they were keeping the box aside for me for when the rest of the two that were in there sold. And they did, and they've given me the box. And I think the display looks pretty epic that I've made up here. And I finally got myself a record player, which is an awesome thing. And here are my records so far. We have Nirvana Unplugged in New York, which is an amazing album. Here we have In Utero, of course. Um, Nevermind, which is pretty awesome. Three Cheers for Sweet Revenge, as I showed before. And here are the ones that I got at the op shops. Um, when I went to go looking for stuff... With my dad, we just found these, and we had to get them because they were, like, really cheap each. And this is a pretty good find. Here we have Two Loaf of Zero by Elton John. Anyone knows me, I know I'm an Elton John fan. The Fox by Elton John. Elton John's... This is not the greatest hits album that you're known, but it's called The Superior Sound of Elton John. It's got most of his hits on it. Here is Elvis. This is just a vinyl that my mum had back in the day. 
So I've added it to my little collection here because she doesn't really want it. But here is Ammo by My Chemical... Not my... <laughs> Ammo by My Chemical Romance. What an insult to the community. By Bring Me the Horizon. And here is probably the best op shop find. Uh, the Ammo wasn't an op shop find, by the way. Uh, and here is Sergeant Peppers by the Beatles. It's pretty... I don't know what you'd call it. Sunburned, maybe? But... Yeah, it's pretty epic, and if you look in there, there's the back of some of these, but yeah, it's a pretty epic find, because, you know, Beatles are a bit, a bit rarer and more, like, you can get the newer pressings for like 50 bucks each, but I got it for like 12, which is a big saving, really. Um, not much really going on over here. Um, I'll bring you around here. There's my outdoors. This is my guitar, which is a replica of Kurt Cobain's vandalism guitar. And, um, yeah, that's about it. I didn't actually get the X-Men Collector Corpse box, by the way, in the bottom left corner. Uh, it was just sent to me when I was buying stuff. Here is some fake minifigures, which I thought were really cool. Got some cool ones in here. The Bride from Kill Bill, two Hunger Games ones, Olivia Moore, Wreck-It Ralph. Uh, if there's enough demand, I'll do a little showcase on all the fake ones I bought. Uh, yeah, down here, Bill Nye and Bob Ross. A fun picked up Bob Ross. Uh, up here is the rest of the fake minifigures, if you're interested. I will do a whole showcase on these, mostly CW Flash stuff. I'm missing Killer Frost because I lost her. She fell off the shelf and I haven't found her yet, but I will find her to do a showcase if you guys want it. Uh, here's the Hunger Games ones, which, as you know, I've already got them. But I finally, at last, have the last one I need coming in the mail that fits right between Snow and Mocking Jay Katniss, which is the wedding dress Katniss. And I'll probably do an unboxing video when that gets here, if there's enough demand and all that. Down here, I don't know if I showed any of the Resident Evil ones. I think I showed Jill and Nemesis, but I did not show Leon S. Kennedy, which I just recently got. Uh, he's pretty awesome. Hoping to complete the set here, and uh, at some point that will be done, hopefully. And uh, yeah, so here is the last thing that I got in the mail from America, which I've been waiting for for a long time. It is a replica of the Holy Grail from Indiana Jones from the Last Crusade. And now this guy on the Indiana Jones Facebook page named Todd Mello. He does an excellent job at making these. He's actually 3D printed and he paints them beautifully. And he does a great job. And it's quite inexpensive compared to some of the other grail props. My cat is there. Hello, Loki, say hello. Yeah, he's not interested, but yeah. I'll do a full showcase on that if there's interest. Uh, whatever there, what there is interest in, I can do showcases on these things. There is my shorts, and my Nirvana t-shirt, which I'm wearing. It's an unplugged one. I bought like four Nirvana t-shirts, which is probably a bit of a problem, but... Oh well. You know. As you can see, this is sort of... <laughs> Everything's a little, a little bit switched up, but not dramatically. Also got that notebook, a games notebook that came out with the... book. But yeah, nothing's changed too dramatically. There's also this Kingsman thing I got when I was out with my best friends. Yeah, which is cool because you know how much I love Kingsman, you guys. But yeah, that's probably it. I could do... I did do a full collection video a little while back. I could do another one if there's interest. It's just there's so many to go through that I don't know if I can be bothered. But if there's enough demand... I mean, <laughs> demand... He, these videos don't get many plays or views, but... You know... Give the people what they want. But, yeah. That's really about it. I sort of reorganized down here, the Spongebobs and and that, but other than that, there's not really much else to look through, except for this copy of Resident Evil 1 on the PS1. As you see, I'm playing Minecraft, as I commonly do, but that's about it. So, yeah, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!